Hello YouTube. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do another quick update. It's been a, a two or three weeks since uh, my last. Um, this is my Hadiensis tank. Uh, my 180. I'm going to go ahead and show everybody how wonderful these guys are doing. That right there is my keeper male. Yes, that is a male. 100%. Um, he is my F2 male in this group. I have F1s and F2s. The F1s have the big head genetics. Uh, here is uh, zoom in, come on. F2 or F1 female. Focus is pissing me off here, so I apologize. There she is. You can see the Hanukkah hump already starting to form. She's going to be amazing. I'm um, keeping that female. Uh, there's another female back there. She is. Wait, is that a female? Yeah. There's a F2 female. She's got her little section quartered off. Very friendly. Definitely not afraid of me. She's probably about three inches. Barely. Uh, my male, he's about three and a half, pushing four. And he's got those two females wrapped up in uh, this side of the tank here. Basically half the tank. And you see the little female, she went back there by the bubbles. Uh, those clay pots back there generally have one or two females hanging out in there. Um, last night I had a pretty good show going. Uh, four females with this keeper male um, showing off for them. Up here is another big head female. Why can't it zoom? Come on. I apologize. What's going on here? There we go. Big head female. Back there is F2, I think female, I'm not sure yet. Some of these guys are still, still too small to tell. Uh, here's one of my other males. Why is it not focusing? This guy here is going to Umbi King. Uh, he's almost four inches as well. He is second on the chain of command. Next to him is... What is that one? Is that the F1? No. Where's he at? I have an F1 male in here. There he is. Right there. That's a big head male. Uh, big head genetics. Chris Umbi King's taking that one too. Um, out of my big heads, I have mostly females that I can sex. Uh, these other guys, some of them are too small to go either way. Um, but as far as the big heads go, that's the only male that I've seen uh, that I can sec accurately sex is back there. Um, and then I got this one here again. Beautiful fish. You can see how dark they get. This guy here probably won't get too dark. There's a little female right there. Look at how tiny she is. She's probably barely two inches. Right here. Barely two inches. You get chased around by some of these other females. So what I'm going to do is I've got uh, a trio going out to MB King. Possibly a couple more females just for fun. Um, I've got another guy who wants a couple of big head females. So when I go ahead and pull them out I will drop a divider here in the middle uh, where I'm hoping to trap my keeper male and those two females on the left side of the tank allowing me to remove all this decor and capture all these fish place them in bags and everybody else I'll go through and hand pick a couple more females leaving this tank and the remaining will go into a 55 where I will sell them off and be able to hopefully proper ID some of these fish um, I found what I'm keeping and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of everything else as I have come across some other umbies that I'm going to be working with and uh, won't be able to progress my Hadiensis like I wanted to into pairs before selling so I'm assuming I'll have around 10 left um, after it's all said and done that will be available. 
So let's go back to my black mail, which is back here in the corner with that female right now. He'll come back out. He's very social. Here he is. Yep. That's my black male Hadiensis. He's not as dark as my previous black male, but he is definitely dark. You know, he had me fooled, thought he was a female for a little while, until his other started coloring up. And uh, the thing with these guys is if you look at him, if he slows down, look at his caudal fin and, and dorsals, you can see that there's it's a gray tint to it. Whereas the female right next to him has uh, pure white. The males will not get the pure white. I have not yet seen one with pure white fins. Uh, only females. When this one darkened up, he had a gray base to his face and gray streaks in his tail and his fins, as you can see there, which is a clear indicator of a male. And I go by those indicators 100% when I'm sexing my Hadiensis. With this male here, you can see the, the gray, if I can focus for you, in his fins. It's basically just a, a white with, with black streaks. Gives it the gray look. Um, they don't normally get that until they hit about three inches. The females, as you can tell, color up fully at two and a half, three inches. Now one was barely over two inches. I don't know where she's at now. But anyway, we'll move on. Get, get a look here at my Magnum X. There we go. Here's my big boy. He's pushing four and a half inches, maybe bigger. Yeah. Look at all those freckles on that guy. Bam. Blues are starting to come in. You can see his trailer starting to tip out. Here's the female I got with him. Just as nice. Let's see if I can't get her to move. I'll put my hand on the other side of the tank. There she goes. Bam. He goes over and checks it out. See? I've already got these guys head shaking at their biter. I pulled it once, didn't see what I liked, put it back in, now they're head shaking. I uh, still haven't seen any color changing on the female yet. Um, as far as a breeding dress. But uh, you can see them head shake right there. It's going to be an awesome pair. Awesome pair. She's about four inches. She's definitely four and a half. Might even be closer to five now. But I don't know, I might be exaggerating. So, anyway, I've done some uh, redecorating of some of my tanks. Um, I'll uh, get to that when I get over there, move some fish around. Um, I had some, some good news, some bad news. Go over here to my Midas tank. Got my silver dollars in there. These guys are on spawn number three. There's my female. And uh, they got eggs inside that log back there. I don't know if they're still young, so they had a batch of fry. I'm assuming the silver dollars ate them, or who knows, maybe they just died off. But uh, they're going for it again. My little male, he's back in there. He's still smaller than the female. I get them to come out. They have a decent profile. Um, I'm wondering if it's the the white genetics and, and on their skin color that uh, kind of makes their profile look not as strong as you can tell. Come on out, buddy. 
because uh, the, the other siblings I had that were solid orange, you know, the contrast to see their, their nuchal hump was fairly easy. You know, the white throws you off a little bit. It's not as cut and dry. Still nice fish. One of the things I've done here is here's my 29 gallon. I bought the gravel from Home Depot, pea gravel, 3 8 Had to rinse the shit out of it. Uh, made one of my tanks pretty cloudy after one rinsing, so I gave it a day and everything settled. I did a clean on, gravel clean on it. Uh, this tank here was the second rinse on my second batch of gravel. This here is uh, my little F1 Jag from my wild pair. Right there. I think it's a female. I'm hoping it's a female. I'll pair it out with uh, my male. Uh, my wild pair I sold. Um, shipped them off. I think it was Monday. They made it safe and sound. Both of them are 11 inches. And the funny thing is they spawned the same day I was boxing them. So I let them finish spawning before putting them in the box. And what I ended up doing was taking uh, my Project M Monstrosity Umbies, which are Gorilla's Blues and Blue Umbie combined, and a few Rio Mags that I had and tossed them in the pond to grow out. They're fairly easy to determine what is what, all about the same size. And that pot right there is where the Jag spawned in. So I tossed it in this pond to, to feed the Midas as I don't need to grow out any more Jags. Um, and as you can tell, here's Prime and he is all by himself. Get a good focus. There he is. He is a pig. Um, my father-in-law bought Grendel from Mr. Man and he come over here and he's like, you know, this fish prime here is about an inch or two longer and probably two inches thicker and two inches taller than Grendel. Um, it's really hard to determine that in videos and pictures, but this guy is at least 13 inches and five to six inches tall from belly to uh, dorsal fin and he's easy two and a half three inches thick dude's gonna be a tank straight up bulldog and since I moved the female out he has been picking out immensely um, and his colors go back and forth between moods right now he's on the lighter phase love this fish very awesome I like the profile it's not too pronounced by the time he hits 18 inches it's gonna be perfect yeah, behind me is uh, where I had the Jags and I did a complete makeover on this tank, swapped the gravel. This is another tank I put the pea gravel in and I really like this better. Um, in this tank I have about eight or nine dovi that I bought from Chuck. And uh, these guys are really just exa are exactly what I've been waiting for. Um, I've got at least two or three males that I can tell. These guys range from two to three inches. Um, the, two, the two small, mid-sized males, I think there's one of them right there. Just right there. Um, where'd he go? He's already got spots on the face. Yeah, that's one right there. The fin's already starting to turn blue. Really hard to tell in this camera. Um, he's gonna be awesome looking fish. There's another three inch male that's under that concrete block. And my other little males over here on this side of the tank somewhere. Fantastic. These are pure strain Nicaraguan Dovi, which I've been looking for. Um, can't wait to update these guys, watch them grow. Very, very beautiful Dovi. That tank is shut down for the moment. i got to do a gravel change on that. I'm putting pea gravel in there too. This is where the Hadeenses are going to go. Um, I'm going to change the background on that as I think it's ugly. Um, over here is my other Magnum X pair I moved into uh, this 55 instead of the 29. And since I put them in here, they've been hiding, settling in. Um, so maybe next week or next time I get home, they'll be settled in enough to show you guys. Over here, 
They're my babies. Let's see if I can't get a good close up on them. It doesn't help that the glass is stained. It's an old tank I bought from a, an older lady. These are my little enemies. This is my special blend. These guys are pushing about an inch now. Some of them. Really fat. I'm going to have a lot of amazing shit going on in this tank. A lot of amazing. I won't tell you what it is, but all, you, all I will say is these are my little special blends. We'll update them as they grow so you guys can see how they turn out. And then over here is my Dovi tank. My wild pear. Um, there he is. He's pushing 16, 16 inches easy. Uh, I am selling this pair. Uh, they did spawn about 10 days ago, two weeks, on that rock. Probably over a thousand eggs. Uh, she's a big female. Um, I don't plan on raising these stovi out, so I fed them off, siphoned them out, fed them to my hadiensis. Um, otherwise, she'll hang out in there most of the time. That's her piece. There is one more jag baby still survived in this tank. I've got to pull out when I move them out. Um, anybody looking? 125 bucks for this pair. I will guarantee live arrival. I know it's crazy for me to do so, but I really would rather them find a home. Um, otherwise, you don't want to know what's going to happen to them. Well, it's not going to be a happy ending. Uh, not a, no demand up here, no big tanks. Fish doors really you don't even want it. Yeah, it's not going to be a cool deal. So I'd rather watch these guys go to a good home. Um, the thing with my shipping with these guys is, you know, if one dies, then you only get 50% of the funds back. If both die, you'll get 100%. I highly doubt that's going to happen. I have shipped fish this size before, no problem. Um, but I am guaranteeing a live rival to ensure that he does go to a good home. Um, and I am taking a huge cut. And from what I paid for these guys and how far he's come along. Um, I have my reason behind selling them, you know, my own personal reasons. There's no defects with this pair, nothing wrong. He is active. Uh, when the fry were in the tank, he started glass banging, uh, trying to get after me. Since I moved the fry, I, I kind of spooked him a little bit. But he's got beautiful colors, beautiful color, beautiful teeth. Same with the female. You know, she filled out. She don't look ugly anymore if she'd come out. I mean, I guess she never was ugly, but uh, just beat up from being in the pond or the holding container that she was in. Um, so, yeah, hit me up. I guess that's going to be pretty much it for my video today. I will do a better update after I get some more water changes out of the way. And uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to hit me up. Uh, and sub me. Uh, if you want this this Dovi pair, you can message me or email. A lot of you have that, or even call me. So, all right, guys. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll talk to you later.